Wendy Jo, and we are back today with a super quick tutorial on how we use the link in our bio to actually funnel people where we want them to go and to really keep track of where our audience comes from and once they find us, where they go to from there. It is such an incredible tool. Um, I am an affiliate for Beacons, but I do, I'm not getting paid for this video. This is just simply me sharing one of my favorite tools with you guys. If you decide to give it a try, there is a link in the description where you can go over and try it out for free. Um, there's a free version and a paid version, and I'm actually showing you the free version on this video, and it has all of these analytics. It's amazing. So hop in with me and watch the tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments below. I wanted to hop on and show you how I am able to track all of my traffic on TikTok. I know I have showed you guys a lot of different ways to do the link in your bio, and there are tons of options that are fun and creative and whatever, but from a strictly analytical side of things, Beacons is by far the best one that I have found. And there's a free version, as you can see, I don't even have this upgraded. There is a link in my bio that you can go over and grab and do this yourself. And really it is just, it is by far the absolute best um, set up I have seen for Lincoln BIOS. I'm just going to walk you through really quickly um, how you do it and um, what it looks like. So this is my page and as you can see you can add blocks to your page and over here you're going to get a preview of what your actual link looks like to people. So the header obviously is your picture and you can choose the shape, you can choose um, the colors that are going to be associated with your account, you obviously your display name, your bio, you can leave anything blank that you don't want to be on there. You can change your formatting, you can change large text versus small text. Um, there's just so many options. And then this, obviously, if you want like this versus like this, just if you want a little bit bigger. And then obviously you can also change your picture size here all the way to there. So it just kind of depends on what you want there. You add your social icons here. And guys, this is gonna track everything. And I'm gonna show you how it does this. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. So I have my Amazon store, my Instagram, my TikTok, my YouTube, all the things, my email I've added on there because I get a lot of requests now for um, social media influencer marketing stuff. And so I have that on there. So that is, um, basically how you set up your basic stuff. This is where you're going to add all of your links and you can obviously add your own pictures here. So I create a lot of these little images over on Canva and upload them. But if you do not have an image, I'll show you on this one because this one's disabled. Then if you wanted to add an image, they actually have the social media icons right here that you can add in. Um, so it is completely up to you, completely customizable. And again, this is all part of the free version. So obviously here's Canva, Namecheap, etc. cetera. Um, so you can add all these different links in here. You can add more links. And um, obviously I have this make your own page for free using Beacons. That is my referral account. And um, yeah, so that's where you add those. And if you wanna move them around, you simply just put the little hand on there and you can drag. So like if I do a video about Printful, I might drag my Printful to the top for a couple of days so that it's easy for people to find so they can use my referral link for that. My YouTube, I always keep near the top because, and yes, I have it in two places. I have it here as well as here because I refer a lot of traffic over to my YouTube channel from my TikTok account. And this is where I keep this link there as well as in my Instagram, etc. So you can see, you know, my header, the links, my email. Um, I have a video that I've added at the very bottom. You can actually uh, embed a YouTube video. So if you have a YouTube channel, you can embed that right there at the bottom. I have a community here where people can sign up and you know, shows that they're top supporters, those types of things. And people love being a part of a community, which I think is awesome. So they can sign up to do that there. So then let's look at the design itself. So this is where you can pick one of their themes that is already customized and ready to use shapes, colors, etc. Um, you can change, choose all this. You can also go in and change the background to an image. So right now I have it set as a color, but I could actually go in and put an image in the background of 
my website or whatever I wanted to do. Um, right now I just have the colors and I have it set as linear so it fades from light to dark, but you can really do whatever you want to with it. You play around. Page colors, this tells you the colors of these blocks, the text, the button. Um, so like when they hover over it, it's gonna turn black, all of those things. And you can generate a color palette from your own um, images as well. So if I like was to put an image back here, then I could actually generate a color palette for my buttons from that. This is all customizable, you guys, and you can even customize what the text looks like. But here's the fun part. This is what I love, your audience. So you guys know, I teach you guys all the time that really click funnels are getting someone from point A to point B. And I tell you over and over again, don't pay for these click funnel courses or whatever, because TikTok or whatever social media you're marketing on is a click funnel. It is a, it is a funnel. And look, oh look, it's a funnel. It's a funnel. So this is where my um, beacons uh, link is located. So I have it on TikTok, I have it on my website, I have it on Facebook, I have it on YouTube, I have it on Instagram. Obviously, this is where most of my traffic comes from that goes into my link and then it tells me where they go. So my largest portion goes to my YouTube channel then to shop our Davis Design Market, which is where it's it's really quite sad, honestly, because I've slowly set that shop back up after Etsy shut us down last year, and it's just not it's not where it needs to be. I've got to put some focus on there. But so that's the second most place people go. They go to WendyJoDavis.com, which is my personal site, um, my affiliate marketing shop, my business tools. So you can see all the way down. You can see exactly where they're going. Um, I can look at sales, services, tips, because you can even sell directly inside of this. I'll go back and show you guys how to do that. Um, and then it shows me exactly what percentage of people are going to which places. And I can even go deeper into the analytics. Um, this is obviously from when a video went more viral. You get a lot more clicks, um, but you can see the more that I post, the greater the um, impact so this was when my page very first went viral back in september of 2021 and then this is kind of where we're at now um, with um all the things so i get a lot of clicks to my amazon store my business tools TubeBuddy. i did a video on them so obviously there's not been as much on there but i mean it literally will break down all of that for you and having analytics is so good because then you know, okay, this is what my audience is interested in. This is what they're clicking on. So obviously I need to have more content like that. And I mean, I can go in and see my, my community, my email list, all those things, right? So this is probably the greatest asset to everything that uh, Beacons has to offer. Um, and I don't understand what all of this stuff is. Currently awaiting data for sales and so, oh, this is for if you have your tour store set up. Let me show you how you can set up your store. So if I go over here, so here's TikTok shopping and I have it turned off right now. You can sell your products with a shoppable TikTok feed, drag and drop videos to rearrange, click to see here. So if I turn this on, then I can actually add a TikTok video and create shopping inside of that video and link them to a product. Um, so that is one way that you can do that. And let me show you another. So these are all of the different options of things that you can um, do. So here's integrations and here's store. Um, so if I do a store, what kind of digital products do you want to sell? So this is for selling digital products. And you can actually sell your digital products directly in the link in your bio, you guys. This does not require, um, this does not require anything. <laughs> like, it's just, it's so incredible. Um, you just have to link it up to a Stripe or PayPal account and they will um, pay you directly through there. So if I wanted to um, sell uh, an ebook, or a zip file or an audio or whatever, I could sell it right through um, through here. And then um, obviously you can add all those types of things. And 
And I'm gonna turn that back off because obviously I don't want it on there right now. And let me show you the other thing you can do, which is integration. Okay, so you can integrate all of these different types of things. So if you sell NFTs, you can integrate your NFT account here. Um, I'm not familiar with a lot of these. You can do the buy me a coffee to have people donate to your BMC account. So I could add a buy me a coffee and you actually have to set up a BMC account um, and people can buy your coffee. So there's a lot of really cool integrations that can happen inside of, of here. Um, okay. So this is the example of how this works. So you can add shoppable videos and you can add them to the bottom of your feed. So if you post a video that has a product in it, then you can actually link to that product through your Beacons account. Um, so, I mean, there's just a lot of versatility inside of Beacons. And again, um, you know, you just can't beat what they have to offer as far as the audience and stuff goes. And then obviously you can earn um, referral money. So, you know, I talk about affiliate marketing, just another great way to um, earn that as well. So uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys because it is a feature that I love and I, this is not paid for by Beacons at all. This is just um, something that I wanted to share because it is by far my favorite way to add a link in your bio. Um, I will link it up in the description below so that you can um, hop over and create your own account. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions as you're setting it up, let me know and I will do my best to help you. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel so that you get all the great tips and tricks on earning passive income and how to monetize um, basically everything you do on social media. So, all right, y'all have a good day.